cathode oscilloscope. So the cathode oscilloscope consists of the following components. Eh? First, we have the electron gun, and then we have deflecting plates, and we have a fluorescent screen. So that is the three main component in a cathode ray oscilloscope. Okay, so this is electron gun. Eh? Okay, so from here, from the heating filaments to this uh, accelerating A nodes, eh? this is the electron gun. Eh? This electron gun. And uh, the functions of the electron gun is to produce this uh, cathode ray, yeah? a beam of cathode ray. The red one is called, uh, this one is the cathode ray. Yeah? Uh, this electron beam is the cathode ray. So the functions of the electron gun is to produce a cathode ray. The second component is this one. Uh, this one is the deflecting system. We have uh, two pairs of plates, uh, Y plate and X plate. Uh, y plates move the cathode ray up downs and uh, the X plate move the cathode ray left right. Okay, so that's the deflecting system. And then the third one is the fluorescent screen. The fluorescent screen is to absorb, okay, is to absorb uh, the small amounts of uh, light energy release when the electrons heat on the screen. Eh? Okay, it absorbs a small amount of uh, light and then produce uh, large amounts of light to produce a bright spot. Eh? So that is the structures of this uh, cathode ray oscilloscope. Eh? So let's start with the filament, okay? So from here, you close this one first, okay? From here, you can see that there's a filament, heating filaments. Usually, it's made out of tungstens, okay? So the functions of the heating filaments is to heat the cathodes. This is the cathode, this is the cathode. So we use these heating filaments to heat the cathodes. So that is the heating filaments. The cathodes, okay, after heated by the heating filaments, up to certain temperature, it will release electrons. Okay, it will release electrons. And uh, so the functions of the cathode is to release electrons when heated by filament. So that is the cathode. Now in front of uh, these cathodes, uh, you can see this uh, this uh, ring here, okay? This is called the grid. This is called a grid. Eh? Now the grid is connected to a negative potential. Negative potential means that it can uh, repel electrons uh, because the, the cathode release electron. Okay, so this can repel electrons. So we use this to control the amount of electrons that, that can pass through it. Okay, we control the amount of electrons. Uh, and when we control the amount of electrons, means we control the brightness. Okay, more electrons pass through it, then it will produce brighter spot. Uh. If less electrons pass through it, then it will produce a, a dimmer spot. So the control grid, uh, this control grid, it control the amount of electrons to pass through it and therefore control the brightness of the screen, the brightness of the spot on the screen. Eh? So the number of electrons reaching the screen determines the brightness of the light. Eh? So hence the negative potentials of the grid can be used as a brightness control. This control grid eh, is to control the brightness. Okay, next one is the focusing a node and the accelerating A nodes. Okay, from here we can see that there are two A nodes. Eh? Okay, the first one is called the focusing A node, and the second one is called the accelerating A nodes. The focusing A nodes eh, uh, is to focus the cathode ray. Okay, is to focus the cathode ray. Eh? When the electrons release, eh, the electrons move this way. Eh? It move this way. So then we need to have this uh, focusing A nodes to focus the electron's beam. So when the electrons release, then the focusing A node will try to focus it. Eh? So then it will focus it on the screen. So without this focusing A node, then the, the, the electrons eh, will uh, spread to a wider area. So we must have this uh, focusing A node to focus this uh, cathode ray. So that uh, it focuses at uh, this uh, frozen screen, then we have a uh, focus bright spots on the screen. And as we have this accelerating A nodes, from the name we know that this is to accelerate the electrons. So when the electron released from here, the speed of the electron is very low. So we need to have an A nodes to accelerate the electron so that it moves very fast. Very fast like this uh, light ray. Okay, light ray move in a straight line. So that is the uh, components in the electron gun. Eh? Components in electron guns. Um, then, so after that, we have these deflecting systems. We have Y plate and X plate. Now, Y plate is used to uh, move the electron beam up or down. So, if uh, if this is positive, this is negative, then this uh, electron beam will be 
deflected upwards eh, because the, this electron beam carry negative charge okay so the negative charge it will move to the positive plate eh? so if you want it to move down then we apply the positive to the lower plate and then the negative to the upper plate and then it will deflect downwards so the y plate deflect the beam up or down eh? and the x plate deflects the beams left or right okay it deflects the beam left or right yeah uh, that is the deflecting system and then here we can see that so it's, it's labeled here vacuum actually the whole tube is vac vacuum eh? okay the whole tube is vacuum the reasons we we need to have vacuum is uh, so that the electrons won't collide with uh, any air particles inside okay so we, we don't want the electrons to collide with the air particles if the electrons collide with the air particles then the electrons will be uh, deflected maybe you go up or go down so okay uh, then you cannot get a one bright spot so we must use vacuum uh, to prevent the electrons uh, collide with the air particles so when the uh, electron reach this fluorescent screen it collide with the fluorescent screen and uh, after it collide with the fluorescent screen the kinetic energy change to uh, light energy the light energy absorbed by uh, this uh, fluorescent substance uh, and then produce uh, uh, this uh, bright spot on this screen uh, okay this is not labeled here again okay? on this screen uh, there is also graphite there are graphite there uh, on the screen sometimes they may ask you what's the functions of the graphite uh, because the gra graphite is not given here okay so uh, there are graphite on the screen as well and then so this graphite uh, is channels to the earth okay it's channels to the earth uh. Uh, because uh, when the electrons heat here, okay, we don't want the, the electrons to accumulate here. When the electrons accumulate here, then uh, it will create a very uh, high negative uh, voltage. Yeah? So we, we don't want this. So when the electrons collide with the this is a fluorescent screen, then so the graphite, graphite is a conductor. So the graphite will conduct uh, the electrics okay, to let the electrons to go to the earth wire. This is to remove the electrons. Uh, from the screen okay to remove electron from the screen because we don't want to have a negative charge screen here because if the screen is negatively charged then it will repel electrons we don't want that eh? so we we have a uh, graphite on the screen and this is to conduct the electricity so that the electrons can go to the earth so that is the function eh, of each components functions of each components uh, of this uh, cathode oscilloscope so Y plates, the function is to uh, deflect the beams left to right, and then the uh, fluorescent screen, okay, is to absorb the lights to produce a bright spot, okay.